Cuba's caves are home to a much rarer mammal than the bat, the hutia, a rodent the size of a small dog. Hutias are found only in the Caribbean, and Cuba is their stronghold. They're nimble climbers and have long whiskers to help them feel their way around the limestone alleys in the dark. Hold up below ground, Hutia avoid the heat of the day. But as the temperature drops, they emerge into the late afternoon sun. Even in the open though, these shy creatures are not easy to spot. This is the first time anyone has filmed them in the wild. This sharp, rocky terrain is far from a Caribbean paradise, but these tough little rodents make themselves at home. They communicate with their family groups with high-pitched squeaks at the limit of what humans can hear. How do they survive on this bare limestone rock? The Hutia's secret is a three-chambered stomach, which allows it to extract enough nutrition and water from even the driest, most toxic plants. But it's no picnic on this Caribbean coast. There's yet another creature that roams Cuba's underworld. It emerges mostly at night and stays close to its hole. But once a year, triggered by rain, the females all emerge en masse. Millions of female red crabs march together in one of the largest mass migrations in the world. This marathon can cover nearly 10 kilometers and take days. Especially if they take a wrong turn. So where are they going and why? Heading for the Caribbean Sea, with one purpose in mind. These may be air-breathing land crabs, but they still need water for one thing, to breed. Each crab is carrying a pouch of precious eggs, and now she has to cast them adrift, without letting herself be swept away. Once the eggs hit water, they hatch into tiny larvae. And in about a month's time, they'll climb back ashore to start their life on land. 